What's going on YouTube? Good morning. How you doing? How you living? What's good? All of that good stuff. Alright, so it is Wednesday, April 7th. Oh man, let me stay in this light. It is 5.30 in the morning. I can't. I can't. Let me stay over here. So it's Wednesday, which means another leg day is coming in. Uh, this one's going to be kind of brutal. I was told by my coach to go a little bit heavier, quit being such a bitch. <sighs> got to go heavy on my lunges, got to go heavy on my squat, but I can do it. I got it. I got my morning coffee, so I'm, uh, I'm ready to go. For me, coffee is literally just as much stamina, as much energy, as much stimulant as a as pre-workout, which is crazy for a lot of people. Like A lot of people tell me they feel absolutely nothing drinking coffee, and I don't even understand that, because I'd be deep in the morning off the coffee, for real. Like I mean, it's 6.24 in the morning, I've been up since 5.30, and I'm like ready to go, even though I really don't look like it. Wow, I look tired, for real. But... Nonetheless, I never say that word. I don't know. Words just be coming out of my mouth that I don't say when I'm filming these videos. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, though, next clip will be at the gym. And uh, I just want to thank you guys right now for watching. If you like what you've seen so far, not necessarily in this video because I haven't done much, but in previous videos, hit the like button. Subscribe for me if you really like what you see and turn on the notification bell so you don't ever miss a video. See you at the gym. Y'all know what these is, cause I don't know what these is. What are you talking about? Um, it's leg day. We finna get these puppies right. The chicken wings, the chicken legs, you dig? I know I look like a puffed potato. This finna be a Labuda one like I said in the other clip, cause we gotta go heavy today. I know Mr. Cameraman behind the camera ain't feeling it, but are we just gonna, are we gonna walk in circles with it? <laughs> I'm off the coffee and the pump. Buddy off the, the pre, the coffee, the pump. The Henny, the no, I'm just playing. The Nas. <laughs> so on my plan, my coach has got me doing warming up with goblet squats to pre-fatigue the muscle. And I was just thinking, yesterday I was talking about increasing mind-muscle connection. A huge tool to do that is to pre-fatigue a muscle before you do like your compound movements or do a specific movement that you really want to focus on. So what I mean by that is we're doing three sets of 20 on goblet squats. After we're doing these three sets of 20, we will definitely have some leg activation. So if we go immediately into a barbell squat, we're going to feel that that much more. It's going to be that much easier to feel the contraction of your quad when you're doing your squat. So that's like something that I had to really focus on in the last two years is increasing my muscle connection because it was not there for a lot of my body parts. And that is one tool that I implemented that definitely got me right. So. I decided to quit being a bitch on that set. I did 280 last week. Felt real good. Weight was moving nice, so I upped it to 300. That was clean. I did 110 last week. 
with just like the regular curl barbells. That was a lot harder. That was a whole lot harder. But my coach wanted me to push myself, so that's another one of the key things that I've really like appreciated over the last two, three weeks of having a coach, having two coaches, and somebody to one hold you accountable, two push yourself. It's just like just like when you're like running, when you're like sprinting, jogging, whatever. It's really hard to go as hard as you can unless you have somebody else. So in this case, that somebody else is literally across the country, but with being in constant communication, receiving a lot of feedback, it's like, it really is like having another person, like having your back during this entire prep. So I'm really happy with how my coaches are coaching so far. So yeah. I, uh, I definitely think they're better. They're definitely, definitely benefiting me throughout this whole solo whole process. I hate that machine with a passion. How long have we been in here? We've been in here an hour and 15 minutes, and we're just. Kinda now halfway through the workout. A little more than halfway, but we're keeping the intensity high when we're doing the sets, but I'm not gonna lie, these set or these rest times have definitely been longer than what I'm used to. I'm used to I mean for years I've been working out by myself without somebody else there, so like I damn near didn't rest. Like I'm talking about 45 seconds max and that's a long time for me. Oh my god Look at this I can't, I can't even like Flexi's puppies. Oh, let's go look at these puppies. Check these out. 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 Check these that that specific leg routine be having me toasted especially them walking lunges bruh like bruh like my literal ass is gonna be sore for a, a smooth week but yeah dude like i notice on my leg days i'd be murking this jug of water on any other day that's not a leg day i mean i'm barely touching that jug but like by the time i'm out of the gym on a leg day that water is damn near gone doing legs just exert so much energy but i'm in the mood i'm feeling i'm craving another meal so i'm gonna go home eat meal two uh that's ground beef rice some broccoli a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and i'll be craving that motherfucker <laughs> Alright, so here goes meal two. Ah, focus. Yes. I'm ready to eat this. For real. So every once in a while I get asked why I decided to compete in a physique competition. I've thought about this answer um, quite a bit and for me it's I recognize myself as somebody who always needs some type of challenge some type of goal something to work towards something to keep me on a path and something with an end goal that is obtainable i have to constantly be working towards something because when i'm not working towards something i end up doing dumb shit and if i don't end up doing dumb shit i feel at the very least i feel very very unfulfilled like like I'm not 
fulfilling my potential like I'm not measuring up to what I know I can be and that might sound like a really cliche answer but like that feeling for me and I felt like that multiple times in my life that feeling for me is horrible that feeling for me is much worse than the hunger pains than the workouts to get really tiring because you have low carbs um, <laughs> bro, he always trying to give his input but uh <laughs> but it's worse for me than the hours in the gym it's worse for me than all the all the bullshit that comes with a prep which really all depends on your perspective um if you look at it in the way that it's a privilege to get to compete because it is really a privilege to get to compete there's people that don't even eat more than a meal a day and i'm complaining about the the four or five meals um that aren't the the food i would prefer um that's the type of shit that i like to remind myself of when i am going through it or having a tough time mentally but i just realized pretty recently within the last i don't know maybe year and a half maybe two years that me feeling like I don't add up, me feeling like I don't fill my potential is something that I'm not okay with. It makes me, I get really down on myself. And um, competing is something that makes sense for me. I've loved working out since I was 12. I started taking working out seriously when I was 14. Competing two years ago for the first time is what made me start taking nutrition seriously. Like, actually getting my protein in, getting my macros in. The level of accomplishment I felt two years ago when I competed, even though I didn't even place, was one of the, I, I can't think of anything else that's given me that level of accomplishment. I can't think of anything else that's given me that sense of accomplishment and like I did something, like I accomplished something for myself. Like, I'm not great, I'm not great at expressing like my words. <laughs> I'm not great at expressing like what I'm trying to say, but Competing, this is only my second year competing, and it already is everything to me. It's something for me to pour my heart into. It's something that I'm good at. It's something that I have a passion for. And for me, for a while, I had felt like I had no passion. I had absolutely no clue what I was going to do with my life for the majority of my life, probably up until I competed two years ago. And, I mean, I got goosebumps talking about this. <laughs> like, it's so important that I found this for myself because, I mean, yes, it's just one competition. But this, this YouTube thing, this, uh, just this entire fitness thing, I want to make my life. I want to make my career. I want to take it as far as I can. I've always known I want to be an entrepreneur. I always known I, I, I will work for myself. At some point in time, I will work for myself. I'm just very, very happy that I found this for myself. That I, this is something that I can say that is for me. Something that I can say benefits me so much, gives me so much satisfaction. But yeah, I don't know. I hope I'm hoping this comes this has come across how I want it to. I'm hungry for this shit for real. For real. And I'm not talking about the food. I'm not talking about the food. I'm proud of myself. I really am. I can I'm I, I have no issue saying I'm proud of myself, but I know it's time to push. It's going to be time to push for a minute. It's there's no letting off the brake now or anytime soon, but I'm ready to keep killing this prep. I'm ready to bring the best physique that I can to this stage. And I'm ready to I'm ready to surprise myself. I'm ready to impress myself. I'm ready to make myself proud. I am ready to make myself proud. So I think that's all for this clip. Um, I wasn't really intending on talking about something that deep, but it kinda feels good to say all that. Um See you guys in the next one.